All right, we're looking at AU, and this is another swing opportunity that I'm seeing on uh, in the markets today. And really, this would be my least favorite, I think. And this would be more correlating with the dollar to see if the dollar is going to turn bullish or not. Um, and so this is just coming into the 78.6. GU has already passed it, 78.6 from this date. Uh, EU is a little bit past at 78.6 from this date. So this one is just the slowest out of those that has not quite yet corrected as much. So what that says is it's the weakest out of all of them. And it has maybe more of a chance to correct down more. That's all that I'm seeing. Uh, looks like EU is a lot more bullish. GU is a lot more bullish in my opinion. We do have a little bit of divergence right here on the daily as we're approaching the 78.6. Let's go into the four hour and you can really see the divergence there as we're approaching that 78.6. It has the, the, the reversal pattern feel to it. It has the, the distribution feel to it. I, it's almost like I've been saying on everything else though, it really needs to break structure in order for us to really want to you know, be super interested. This was the NFP move. And I thought that might've been it, but there was no manipulation. This might be the manipulation we're waiting for. And I really do hope it kind of goes up a little higher to get into this um, 78.6. I mean, this is the 61.8. So it is in the swing zone. Regardless, the swing zone is this big. So it could all it could sell off from here and if it does that's going to be my my indication that this is going to get ready to drop again because it has been you know given this momentum is starting to to slow down look and and I'm I'm starting to get that vibe as well being the divergence king y'all should know that Okay, so once this snaps as well, we're really going to see a move back down into this area. So just watch for AU this week. It's a good opportunity because it's coming into a swing zone. It might be short lived because it's still pretty bullish. But regardless, that's what you want to do. You want to wait for the market to get into a high probability area, even if you're a scalper. Wait for the market to get into a high probability area where there could be at bare minimum a reaction because there could just it could just react here and then, you know, boom, go way back up. Well, if you're in a swing trade from right there, you're probably at break even. You've gotten one to one out of it. If you're in a lower time frame trade, you probably hit a five to one off of this move right here, right? Boom, boom. So um, what you want to do is just wait for the market to get into these areas of importance and then line it up with your other confirmations on the lower time frame. So that's a good one for AU. We'll wait for it. It's my least favorite out of the week, to be honest, because it I'm kind of looking for uh, GA and EA to drop maybe and AU to drop. That's where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, it would be based off of the Aussie for GA and EA, and this is based off the dollar. So um, least favorite setup of the week, but still watching it.